In this video, I'm going to do a demonstration of how you can zip your projects in such a way that it's easy for me to unzip them and then test them. And once you have that zip file, you can upload that to Canvas. So here I have project one. So this is a really good project one driver, and I'll post this on GitHub for you if you want to borrow this. This tests most of the methods you're supposed to write. And here's my point class. And as you can see, it's a compiling point class. It doesn't necessarily work because none of these actually do anything. So if I run this, you can see I get some output. It's not that great, but let's just say that I'm happy at least it compiles and runs. So therefore I'm ready to submit. So if I go to the project one package and if I right click there, I can click show in system explorer. And when I do that, it should bring me to the directory on my hard drive where that package is. And I can right click on this, send to a compressed zip folder. And now I have a zip file with that code. And I want to put my name on it. At the very least, your last name, ideally your first and last name. And so if I double click on that in Windows, you can see there's the project one and then there's my actual code. So now I can take this zip file and upload that to Canvas along with separately your document where you've completed everything. And I do want you to submit those separately, the document as one piece and then the zip file. Please do not zip your document inside the zip file with your code. Canvas will let you upload multiple files in the same submission and you definitely want to do that instead of making multiple submissions it's because it only shows the last thing you submitted so you want to make sure with your submission you submit two files the first being a saved copy of your document filled in and the second being a zip of your code